That was so fun, the podcast. I'm so glad we got to do that with you. Thanks for doing that. My pleasure. Yeah. And like right after your show. No, it's great. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. So we're just going to... Take you back to your dressing room now, back to your like, lair. Yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> well, we'll chat with you on the way. Do you sure. Mind? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> that was so... You were so beautiful today. Oh, thanks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our, that one thing is super that, easy, right? <laughs> one thing I wanted to bring up that I yes. thought was so stunning was the way that you sort of, it looked like the musicality was what, what was driving those super technical elements, especially in that first variation. Right. You had those hops yeah. on point, oh, yeah. but it looks like you... I was freaking out. Yeah, because you, you have to stop <laughs> on a literal dime. All right. And yeah. But then you like let the movement sing through it. Oh, is that something thanks. like? Were you? Did you grow up playing musical instruments or like? What is yeah. your association mm -hmm. with? It's um, funny. I have classical a music. That I have a funny story about musical instruments. So, my mom was trying me out in everything in sports mm -hmm. and dance and piano. And I remember I just wanted to dance. And um, <laughs> she was having me take piano lessons. And I said to her. Um, if I'm going to be a professional ballerina, I need to have long, slender fingers, not muscular hands. Oh my gosh, and so <laughs> she says, "Okay, <laughs> fair." So I, that's how I got out of piano, which was really very um, like clever. But that's <laughs> also so ballet dancer of you to be like, yeah. "I have to worry about my fingers." Yeah. <laughs> so I I never played an instrument, but musicality has always been something that I've really focused on, mm -hmm. and even in the company, people, you know. I'm like one of those people that doesn't want to dance. Stickler yeah, I'm like the yeah, yeah. stickler that mm -hmm. will literally dance on the music even if it's not. Even with if everybody. you're not with everyone else. Yeah. I feel I like mean, you. by showtime, like I'll like, you know, relax about it. Mm -hmm. But I really find that musicality, especially if the music's beautiful, it like definitely helps oh. to inform my movement. Yeah, right. It's the most important so, part. Really. Yeah, it's inspiring. So yeah. I definitely do you like to rely on the music to tell me what to do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this sure. score is so beautiful. The Draco, yeah. like obviously, if yeah. it can inspire Balanchine and inspire Alexi, then yes. yeah, who are we to say? Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> it really is so beautiful. So what was there? You have how many variations in Harlequinade? Like four? Five? Yes. Yes. Something like <laughs> Eight, that. Eight. <10. laughs> you know. Is it's there all one longer? Is there one in particular <laughs> that's hardest? My guess would have yeah. been that maybe the first one was the hardest. You is know what? Well, yes. It, what's so weird about it is the first one is very difficult and it's a little awkward. Like the movement is a little awkward. The way the steps are are formed is a little awkward. But in the second act, it's actually. Um, more tiring and there's a lot more, I think, control in right. the second act variation. So I find that one mm. to be maybe more difficult. I think that one's gotcha. really unusual because by that point, like the, the culmination of the ballet, you're kind of expecting to see you like, you know, he, does it, his Alice gone turns right yes. before that? Yeah. yeah. So, the, the, so it's, it the, builds yeah. and then it slows down yeah. for the girls. And I, yeah. I love it. I think it's yeah. so it's different true. and, and yeah. beautiful. Like and you didn't come out and just do fuetes. Totally. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's sort of adagio, and adagio is not my favorite thing to do. I was do. actually going to ask you, really? It looked like you it were really just like an adagio, a, like queen. Well, thanks. That's nice. <laughs> it's definitely helpful that, that this style um, basically asks for lower legs, because mm -hmm. it's not really my right. um, forte. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I think also there's so many parts to um, that variation that it's just stamina wise it's difficult and also right. a lot of it relies so much on the conductor and how quickly or slowly the uh. orchestra plays so it sometimes it's painfully slow but you know i'm really again because musicality is important to me i'm like trying to you stick with, with it, it. Yeah, yeah yeah um or sometimes you feel rushed so right. you know that's definitely a for that factor. adagio solo does it make it which would you prefer <laughs> slower faster because <Yeah. laughs> i mean some of the control elements yeah. if it's mm -hmm. too fast then you might lose it true you true. have to have your like moment to play plie and pick it up True. and then yes yeah well it's like you know of course the issue of the dancer is you know oh well i really like this section to be slower but can we have this section faster <laughs> and then it sounds weird so yeah, right, yeah. right you know i i i am generally not very picky with um yeah. tempos because mm -hmm. i think it's not a good way to be yeah. as a dancer in general because right. you're really not in control of it um so i try to just do what the conductor is asking me to do. Yeah. Do you have a good story? Like, I feel like we've had moments before where, like, we're like, oh, the conductor really wants to go home tonight on like a, you know, like a Sunday, and they're like playing super fast, and it's yeah. like, what's going on? You totally. know? Yeah, yeah. 
So we've had that like so that. many times yeah. where, or we'll say, gosh, are we going to go into overtime because that was so slow? Or, <laughs> right, right, you right. Know, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, this is a zippy bow. This is it what? is. Just two Super short for done. ABC. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, you're true. In right? now, that is yeah. true. But you're still dead at the end. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, what just happened to me? <laughs> yeah, totally. So here we have your, oh. or, I love this costume. I love this so costume. And, yeah. These All of the costumes. Yeah. I was going to ask you, so we were talking in the podcast about how like Alexi's so true to what Peta Paw wanted. Yeah. Do you have any indication of like how traditional these costumes are? Because to me they seem like a whole like twist on them. I don't know. Right. Is it no, I think they are from the old sketches. Mm -hmm. um, and even the way that you see in Act 1, 2, 2, and, and for everyone, mm -hmm. it's the tutus are a little bit longer. They're more towards right. the knee. And they're not so straight out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas century a, style. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, you'll see now tutus that are very, um, like, erect and out stiff. and mm -hmm. stiff. Yeah. Um, but these tutus are softer and they mm -hmm. come down a little bit longer. Um, so again, it goes with that old fashioned style ballet. Yeah. yeah. But they're so it. beautiful. I and mean, you mm -hmm. feel great. In yeah. Them, so. yeah. And the colors were so bright. Maybe that was one thing that like surprised mm -hmm. me. I wondered if like in the t at the time they had those like bright, bright colors. Right. It is vivid. I mean, yeah. it's nice to have that because I feel like the set is muted and it's very kind of like soft. Mm -hmm. So it is nice to have those. But it makes the color stand out pop. so much. Yeah, Definitely. yeah, it's I really so beautiful. Yes. Well, shall we take the long way and go through the theater because it's so <laughs> beautiful. Sure. We have yeah. to go see it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <City> Center. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you've danced this ballet before mm -hmm. um, at home in New York. Yes. So what what is the difference between having to um, execute a role like this in a theater where you're super comfortable, it's your home turf, versus you're on tour, right. your whole kind of process can be disrupted. Right. Well, touring um, can be difficult depending on where you are. Mm -hmm. um, you have to deal with factors like jet lag and travel time and um, just different schedules. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. well, luckily, different the Kennedy foods. Center doesn't offer those things for exactly. you. Exactly. We're so close this by. Is, exactly. <laughs> so this is like the perfect place to, to be. It feels like a second home for sure because mm -hmm. we Aww. come here so often. Yeah. Um, and that's really a privilege, I think. And so, but of course, I think there's more things to look forward to when you're on tour, such as, oh my God, I can't wait to go back to that amazing Ethiopian restaurant. Yeah. Or, <laughs> <laughs> We're or, just gonna sit um, for a minute if you want. Yeah. Sure. Or, um, you know, I really love um, the way that the Kennedy Center puts out food in the basement by the dressing rooms <laughs> for us. Like, it's just nice, amazing. the hospitality. Yeah. Um, you don't so get that everywhere. Exactly. No, <laughs> they no. really, like, take care of us. Or, mm -hmm. or yeah. certain dressers that you see again mm -hmm. yeah. um, that you remember from the year before. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so that's nice. And you come here quite often. You come here every year, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah. that oh. it must feel like a home away from home at for this sure, point. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it's like... You come in, you know it, your way around. Usually everyone has their designated spot at their dressing room. Just like at home, right? Yeah, yeah. you just you move in and yeah. you're like, oh, this is home. Yeah. So That's it's so great. Yeah, it's nice and nice to walk into Georgetown and do all the things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you feel being in a theater, uh, an empty theater like mm -hmm. this, and knowing what you've just done? <laughs> it, it's such a, a different experience on this end. Like, d can you even. <laughs> reconcile that in your brain that you were just out there like looking out to a, a dark right. abyss doing these hard hard things and here now you get to actually see like oh several thousand people just right. watched me do a full-length ballet that's true i don't think i've ever come out to the other side of curtain so quickly after a show i mean i mm -hmm. go and i see a lot of theater to learn from it yeah. but mm -hmm. um this is kind of interesting to be looking at the stage right now and have the that perspective um but yeah it feels it feels amazing but it is true i can't really even reconcile it yeah. in my brain. <laughs> well, because we were that was one thing we were talking about is like when you come into the theater now you see all these seats, but yeah. like when you're out there dancing, people don't realize it, there's nothing. You just see mm -hmm. darkness and you see the spotlights. It's like true. it's kind of like meditative in a way, yeah. right? That it's just like kind of like there's a almost a fourth wall mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. It feels almost very. It almost feels private. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is the strange thing. Um, mm -hmm. But I definitely like to look at the conductor, I like to make eye contact with the mm -hmm. conductor, I like to yeah. make eye contact with people, even in the front row, um, mm -hmm. the faces that I can see. Um, but you, there's a certain energy as a performer, of course, that you know that people are out there right. and they're responding to you. And right. so you can feel it even if you can't yeah. see it. Yeah. You're not confronted directly. Sure. Yeah. I used to not let myself 
watch from the front until after I had done something. After you're done. Because it's too, uh, it was too real. It's too real, <laughs> yeah. It's true, you realize like, this is gonna be That's yeah. me. That's, yeah. 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 One, so, sorry, go yeah. no, no. Here you go. <laughs> I was just gonna say that one, um, today, one of the things we were talking about was seeing all these little kids right. yeah. in the show. We were sitting and next to two little girls. Yeah, and it's just like, there's such a great cast of these kids, and they're local here yeah. to mm -hmm. Washington, D.C., which is so great yes. that then you get all these different new mm -hmm. kids coming in. Mm -hmm. How is it to interact with them? Because, of course, like you said, in the podcast, you've been one of them before. Yes. Yeah, no, I think um, the company members are really wonderful because we definitely make ourselves available to the kids and, and, and dependent on where we are and how old the kids are. I mean, the kids can be very precocious and come up and mm -hmm. talk to us as well. I mean, I think when I was younger, I was a little bit more shy, but, um, <laughs> you know, they're working so hard even before we get here. And then when we arrive in, a, in any particular city, we have a put together and it's really one day. And, and as professionals, we're used to that. Yeah. Um, but it's a totally different for environment the for, the, for the kids mm -hmm. to do that. And so they always prove their professionalism and mm -hmm. they work hard and they're prepared. And so that's always really cool to see. And I know the company members are very much so in awe of them mm -hmm. and yeah. proud of them and think that what they're doing is wonderful and it, it's, it's inspiring. It goes both ways. Right. So, um, but we find the kids to be adorable and hilarious and <laughs> wonderful. And I mean, we enjoy hanging out with them actually. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. when there are certain after parties, cast parties, after an opening night or something like that, we'll definitely hang out with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> They'll show us some new dance moves, like mm -hmm. how to, you know, dab and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> moves Whatever the kids great. are doing. Moves from Fortnite and I'm like not even that old, but uh. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> so yeah. what's it like to kind of be on the other side now? You, you've already talked to, uh, in our, our first podcast yeah. segment that um, talked about how dancers like Julie Kent and Julian Murphy inspired mm -hmm. you as a student. Do you feel like a sense of responsibility kind mm. of being that for the children here now? Like they're looking at you doing Columbine Yes. Like, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I definitely um, feel like I want to maintain a certain standard that I grew up watching. Mm -hmm. um, now, if I'm given the opportunity, I want to rise to that level. Um, but I think what was really crazy is it hit me the other day when we were rehearsing in New York for this, and it was my cast of Harlequinade, and we were doing a run <coughs> in our main studio um, in New York City. And Paloma Herrera happened to be in town and she mm -hmm. stopped by in the doorway. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> Paloma's looking at me doing, like I'm doing the main role mm -hmm. right now. And I used to watch her doing the main role. And so that actually was the, the whoa moment mm -hmm. for me and made me feel really just grateful and thankful and yeah. who are yeah. some of your your biggest influences not not just people that you uh, enjoyed watching mm -hmm. but people that you said like I want to take that yeah. element that yeah. about them and try and apply yes it. yeah I think I mean all of those dancers Nina Anna Shavili mm -hmm. um, Irina Dvorovenko Susan Jaffe Julie Jillian I mean they all had different things to offer even even the men I mean I was amazed by the ABT men mm -hmm. like on hell was one of my favorite dancers in the world and Jose and Ethan and Marcelo and so everybody offers something different of course mm -hmm. um, but also I had certain uh, you know mentors like my parents um, and they always just wanted to make sure that I was happy and they told me no matter what you do like it's wonderful mm -hmm. and they never p put any pressure on me but they were always supportive along the way so I feel really um, grateful for that because not everyone has that right um, so they definitely helped to keep me grounded right. too. And they came to the podcast recording. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they were so yeah. cute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's awesome for them because being from New York, they're able to, when they have time, come mm -hmm. and tag along for yeah. some tours and Aww. see me. And, yeah. and so that's, you know, that's emotional for me because they put in so much with, alongside me, mm -hmm. um, made so many sacrifices. So for me to be able to do something like this and for them to be able to watch it and also reap the benefits of all of the hard work, that's very uh, great, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, absolutely. Me, so. Well, we gotta get you back. Yeah, okay. we've already <laughs> taken you away <laughs> from no, your parents party. for too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we did want to ask you though, mm. while we're on our way to walk through the backstage area, yes. what one of your favorite moments from the Kennedy Center performance here, other than today, of course. Yes. Now you've been <laughs> coming since you were a studio company member, is that right? Yeah, pretty much. So basically 10 years, so you've got yeah. a lot of memories here. Yes, yes. Um, 
I'm trying to like think today. of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would be a fair enough answer. Totally. Yeah. I mean, every, every time we come, um, it's wonderful. And we see old friends like... Julie Kent and Ciamara mm -hmm. Reyes and Renata Because they're locals Hive. now. Yeah. yeah. Because they're locals now. Um, so I think, you know, even just that, it's nice because the ballet world's so small and it's it's such a great, um, there's such a great network of people that even as, as everyone moves on and uh, that kind of thing, I'm still seeing old friends and yeah. um, and family even and mm -hmm. so I think that, that those are some of my favorite memories being mm -hmm. able to see other people that I've danced with that maybe now dance with Washington Ballet mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. um, or is the director of Washington Ballet um, right <laughs> so that's speaking that's of memories nice. I yeah. just love all the paraphernalia in here from it's companies so that cool. have, have been yeah. in here previously I always love that when when um, different theaters put up signed mm -hmm. posters. And it yeah. helps it feel lived in, and yeah. you feel yeah. a sense of history as you're going out on stage. Definitely, yeah, yeah it feels pretty like monumental. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we loved seeing the Miami City Ballet one. Yeah, that's so nice. <laughs> what year was that? I can't. What it must. That's say. An, a mid '90s moment. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We never got to come here and perform when we were with the company. Really? It happened right before, right before our time. Yeah, it's such so a special theater. To, but yeah, now we get to. Be well, here that, with you. yeah, well, <laughs> thanks for <her>, like <laughs> making me a part of this. But <laughs> no, it's so great. Um, so we just have a few last quick questions yes. for you. We yes. usually do a lightning round on our podcast. Okay. So right. just some quick ones. <laughs> what is your favorite ballet to dance? Ah, um, God, that is so hard. Uh, you can have a couple. Yeah, okay. we usually let couple. people steal. In the upper room. Yes, good, good one. Um, Romeo and Juliet and Don Quixote. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what is your dream role that you've not yet performed? Um, either Kitri or Juliet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's see, what else did we have? Uh, I know there's more. Who's a dream partner that, that dream you partner. would love to dance with? Oh, it can be someone uh, past or present. Well, I have had the privilege of dancing with Marcelo Gomez um, on like two occasions. Mm -hmm. He is a dream and the dream. The <laughs> dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite former ABT ballerina? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, all of them? Is that an, <laughs> actually, is that an okay allowed. answer? That's allowed. There's been some um, pretty big names. Exactly. That have come I kind of like grew up in a time where everyone was a superstar, so right. I feel very lucky to have seen that. Yeah. When is that? Yeah. Is there a choreographer that you have not worked with yet who you are eager to experience their mm. work? Um, Crystal Pike. Um, oh, actually. yeah. Or, or Ohad Naharin. Mm -hmm. oh, but also, so I feel like it might break me. <laughs> well, that's, that's, yeah, to see you, to like my first impression of you is now this like uber classical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And then you're just saying like you want to like take your Tear hair out and yeah. roll on the ground. I would love to be able to know how to move like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Life, the way I'm, they can isolate certain parts of their bodies. Oh my is god, I don't so understand. much admiration. Yeah. I don't understand that because I can't be down. I'm only <laughs> no. <laughs> up, up, up. Up, up, yeah. up. Um, then our last one is, what is the hardest ballet you've ever danced? I think, actually, Alexia Ratmansky is the golden cockerel. And oh. it's interesting because I was a golden cockerel, mm -hmm. and um, the cockerel doesn't even appear that many times in the ballet, but the moments that it does, um, the solos are like... Like short bursts. Bonkers. Virtuoso. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I was definitely... Heaving. I <laughs> those, so. yeah. well, thank you so much. Thank it was you. so great to meet you. Yeah, you so too. Fun. We're so lucky to talk to you after yes. that crazy I show. Know. I mean, it was so great. Yeah. You are so beautiful. Thanks for allowing me to reflect. Oh, yeah. And enjoy the rest of your time in DC. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs>